back to my channel if you're new here hi my name is sharon if you're not subscriber thank you so much for coming back to watch today's vlog uh i'm starting off another vlog today thank you so much guys for the support you've given me in my previous video because yeah i received i received so many comments i received dms i even received whatsapp messages of you of, of some of you guys saying uh don't stop vlogging just try to be consistent you never know what's going to happen we like watching your videos all those sorts of good things so i just wanted to say thank you so much guys you guys if i could there's a there's a voice note that jill sent me jill is one of the subscribers I m i've met her before and jill is one of my subscribers i've met her before and she sent me a very sweet uh voice nod and i'm just so grateful for the support that you give me guys and i'm so because of that i'm going to try to be as consistent as i can however another life updates issue i know in the previous video i was complaining about how zoll hiked their prices so we have moved from zoll uh to another wi-fi service provider no the blue one the blue one is I can never do anything in peace in this house the other one is crying in the background the other one is standing right behind the door but anyway i was saying so we moved to a new uh, wi-fi service provider it's called utande and the day that we got installed there's someone also on instagram one of you guys uh she dm'd me she said try their service and so far it's been so good we pay 40 dollars for unlimited wi-fi and for me this is just like ah guys where were they all along so we ditched soul and then that's the service provider we're now using so hopefully the vlogs can be coming to you guys also consistently because that's also one thing that's been like you know discouraging me to continue to vlog and then another life update uh i wanted to give you guys is that we voted on wednesday last week results were announced on saturday evening guys um i don't even know what to say honestly i was so heartbroken when they were announcing the results i was just but they said they would announce the results on at seven the six said they would announce the results at seven and then they didn't announce the result before i don't know announce an attempt so i was just sitting on the sofa before putting my kids to sleep i was just like this because you know what when we talk about elections when we talk about voting or when we talk about how much we need change in this country it's not only for like at a personal level for me in instant no funga when i'm going to fortunate you forgot to marry you have promised us this is your word you have said in your word knock and your doors shall be opened kumbira uchawana you have to look at the poor in the community you have to give you have to do all these things that if you're a christian it's supposed to be a way of life right and so when we pray for change through elections it's just the hope that you know zimbabwe can be a better country because now you look at the hospitals one if any of you guys has ever been to either goma hospital or parinyatwa i'm tired of us pretending it's unfortunate that there's nothing that we can do the only thing that we can do is to actively participate in voting in hoping that these candidates that we have uh will do enough for us to just you know have food on the table and in any personally if there's a ruling party the party has been in control for a very long time and they have brought us to the stage does it not make sense does it not make sense to want change that's all i was hoping for in this election and so right now what is life going to be like in the next five years but i'm just praying also remember the previous dog i went to church and there was a pastor who was preaching could you know what you can be in a very difficult situation but also understand that you can do your part as a citizen as a zimbabwean but at the end of the day god has given you a purpose god has given you a role that you're supposed to play and when you're intentional and when you make sure that you are aligned with what god wants you to be at times 
you will reach the goal but it's just not going to be easy because of our circumstances so i don't know guys we'll just see how things go you can't really invest into anything because all your money is going into school fees paying rent um the kids ourselves so it's difficult for you to build anything that's tangible unless you strike a very big deal but anyway that's all i'm going to say about the elections i'm hoping you guys are really do are doing great um i don't know where we're going but hey because i cannot forget for us to leave the country but we are not it's not all of us who are going to leave the country and that's a very normal thing in this country and it shouldn't be normal anyway i'm getting myself upset and i know once i start talking about this uh, it's okay it's fine we will try again next time but i don't think anything is going to come out of this court cases and whatnot yeah that's life update number two right um uh, update number three business is going good i wanted to notify you guys that we're doing a, a giveaway on my thrift page if you're a size small or medium guys please go just go and check it out it's two beautiful lobola dresses that we donated to us so that we can give to someone who's in need so maybe you know someone who's getting married or you know someone who is um uh, or you are the one who's getting married rather and you are looking for a lobola dress maybe you're unable to buy or to get it tailored guys i promise you those dresses they are stunning just go and check them out i'll leave the link to the facebook page uh in the description box i'm trying to make this vlog really short because i don't know how this new wife is going to perform in terms of um uploading speed but yeah let me go i'm heading into town that's why i have my bag i'm heading into town to collect some money uh try to source a little bit i think i'm going to pass through copacabana just to see if i can you know get a few things and then go to my collection point to drop off a few things meet a few clients who say they will be here they'll be there by 10 and i'm actually running late and then i'm going to try and come back home because mondays usually we have a lot of housework in the house due to you know weekend we don't do a lot of laundry we don't clean as much because people are just resting so monday there's always a lot of work that needs to be done in the house so i need to rush to town come back and yeah so yeah spend the day with me guys and let's go to town anyway before i almost forgot this is my outfit uh let me take this in properly the top is thrifted this is why i like this top because of this it's, guys ignore that ignore my draw there uh, i'm going to get organized when i get back from town and then i'm wearing these jeans they are almost like cargo pants because they have these little pockets on the side and top and jeans thrifted and then converse uh tennis shoes and the bag that i got from my mom bought from Shein. so yeah this is the look for the day i like it you, by now you know how i dress these days and i'm so sad that i'm not sad that summer is here i'm just sad that i'm not going to be wearing jeans because i sourced too many jeans for myself when we were in winter and i guess i'll have to keep them and wear them my days otherwise yeah let's get into town <laughs> Ten dollars. Shoot my window. Do you want to buy any door? Can you buy that door? Can you can you can you call lunch? Can you promise a lunch? Monday today. Even probably when you go to China, you need to know it's Monday. Um, I'm now back home. It's around 12:30. I try to vlog, but you cannot vlog as much when you're walking alone in town. So I think I last saw you guys when I was getting to Century Mall, and then from there, what did I do? I went to Copacabana. Then from Copacabana, I picked up a few things that we needed at home. So, because it's almost month end, things are starting to run out. In the beginning of the month, I tried to buy extras so that 
we don't have to buy things during the night but like, something always runs out so i went and i got some yogurt because my kids they devour this yogurt so i got just this yes yogurt but i'm going to yogurt one you Anyway, I bought candy lemon pass because I wanna help guys. And then also got some that two kg rice. I got a five kg in another two kg when I was buying my groceries, but that came out. And then also got uh, some azoi. Hold on, I'm leaving it in the end. Hold on, yes, hold on. What's wrong? This is not good. Blackberry Mazoya. Then got some ties for the one in the house. And basically, and some sweets which are in my bag. But basically, that's all I got. So that's what I got. For now, I'm going to try and create some content for the dresses that I got. Post those and then make sure that I also post the giveaway that we are going to be doing. I think, oh, and I also got some meat in another bag. I bought some uh, trotters, pork trotters. Yes, and I give you your pork nuggets. So, uh, hold on. Anyway, as you can see, I am needed in this house. Let me get the meat. That's the thing. I will cook lunch as well together. If not lunch, then we'll cook supper together. So yeah, let me get to working and then I'll catch you guys later. One, one. There we go. No, your guts. Oh. Yes. You know. So we are done eating. He's crying for this triple. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to bubble him, but I need to tie my braids so that they don't get um my again. Sit here for a second. Here's the speaker. Oh, speak. Okay, since the last time I spoke to you guys, I remember showing you breastfeeding is that in the end i think what did i do after that i try we fed him sats huh? and then i tried to put him to sleep as soon as he slept i tried to sit down for a second because i have not rested in a while and i just felt so sleepy and i slept you guys i'm probably sure you can probably tell by my eyes i spent i think from like 2 30 to 5 sleeping and i have not done that in a while but i feel well rested because tomorrow i have an early morning with my mom i'm meeting my mom around 6 in the morning because we're going to go somewhere if i can vlog then i'll probably vlog for the next next vlog that's coming up uh i'm done cooking i'm just waiting for the sausage that's in the oven and then i think that'll be it for this vlog thank you guys so much for watching this is me trying to get back into the swing of things um and just do it consistently so i really hope you guys enjoyed this video otherwise uh let me sign off this vlog right here i'll see you guys in my next video this is my food guys the sausage the worst sausage i've ever tasted i saw it being sold in this butcher that i normally buy my meat from if i'm not if i don't go to Kokom, india this mm -mm, no it's 
it's it's like I would give it a five out of ten. So I'm just going to eat it, but I, I no, this is not it. Otherwise, this is my fault.